Because uh, Stylife is already uh, one step ahead of him. He is being shelled by a siege tank. Looks like he will finally have to press out. I'm going to take a few supply depots with him. This is just such a devastating attack from Stalife. I'm not sure how this Jimmy will be able to recuperate. Only 43 supply right now. Compared to 78 of his opponent. And it looks like Stalife finally going to retreat. And a couple damage Vikings easily able to escape. Uh, thank goodness for this expansion. If it had gone down, it would be a good game. And uh, lots of Marauders coming out for Stalife. Getting that uh, Stim and Concussive Shells. And that expansion nicely up and running. So a huge economic advantage this early on in this game for Stalife. And... Uh, I really do think it's going to take a miracle for this Jimmy to get back in the game. He does have a command center already built. Oh, I rather, <laughs> it was always alive. He did not kill the command center. So he's able to get some SCVs back on there, but he is badly supply locked right now. Not able to produce any new units, just building supply depots and mining. Uh, tons of resources that he can't even deploy. Uh, really should just be getting all these SCVs, you know, four or five building supply depots all at once. He has called down supply a little bit. But uh, he is badly besieged, does not have enough defenses to deal with another strong Marauder push. And Stalife, given that this is a uh, best of three, is in no hurry to try and press his advantage. He is instead expanding to multiple locations. He's going to calmly and uh, coolly secure as much of an economic advantage as he can to make darn sure he does not lose this match. Uh, winning this, he will move on to the round of 32, a few steps away from moving on to the round of 16 at the end uh, against the pros. And these Vikings looking like they might even land here. No forces here to shoot them except for these Marines. A uh, little ambitious there, but he has Marauder support. The Vikings land right on top of these uh, siege tanks. Looks like he's going to get all of them and these Marines. And this might be it for this is Jimmy. Lots of Marauders and Vikings have landed. They've caught the SCVs. Only a few are going to be able to limp away. This expansion certainly going to go down. And I don't see what he can possibly do. There is at least one siege tank. Uh, one lift off, and he can easily kill off this... Uh, Command Center trying to float away, but it looks like his attention is elsewhere. This is Jimmy, uh, uh, is going to escape with this Command Center. He probably will survive, but uh, stimming those Marauders in again, going to try and focus down the Siege Tank. Uh, he is going to get it, but enough Marines might be able to stamp these Marauders. Uh, looks like they will. The rest of the Marauders do die, but uh, really no need to press his advantage any further. If the expansion is dead. This uh, Command Center is burning to the ground, and uh, uh, even deeper in the hole now, with only... 15 SCVs or under 60. So I don't think there is anything left this Jimmy can do. He is on the ropes. Tons of Marauders coming out from what looks like uh, six barracks. Even more coming down at Ghost Academy. So opening up the option for nukes if he wants it. And notice he's building no more Vikings, no more tanks. Uh, just infantry at this point in time. He's picking up vehicle plating though. Not sure why. This is Jimmy now trying to reestablish his hold on his expansion. Isn't even repairing this command center. It is burning down. There it is. Finally some SCVs. Going to repair this back into the orange. And uh, really there's just nothing I can see that he can do. This is Jimmy is just so far in the hole right now. And these Marauders looking like they might try again with a little bit of Viking support. The two new expansions uh, humming along nicely. So many orbital commands. Look at all these mules just mining with that gold. A uh, huge excess of minerals for Style Life. He's picking up Cloak for his ghosts. So he might just be toying with his opponent, going to get some nukes, and uh, have a dramatic finish here. Viking's not going to be able to press in. There is a missile turret in the way. It looks like they will be able to sneak by, and uh, this is exposed, so these Vikings are actually going to be able to kill even more SCVs yet again. So this relentless uh, harass from Vikings working very well for Stalin. All of this is Jimmy's forces have to come back to try and force these away. And enough Marines, it looks like these Vikings are going to suffer some casualties. This guy, for some reason, not obeying his own commands. I don't know what that's about. But he clearly is being told to go this way. These Marauders just hanging out, I guess. A uh, nice little spread if he tries to move down this ramp. And it looks like we're just going to be settling in for a long uh, macro and toying phase where Style Life picks up some nukes and some ghosts and finishes his opponent off in a very glorious fashion. So uh, not much for me to commentate at this point in time, but I can't deny the rest of this game, so we will continue. This is Jimmy continuing to try and fortify as best he can. Uh, got lots of siege tanks here, but really, again, uh, he's just going to get out macro. He needs a third expansion. This will eventually get mined out, even with only uh, 28 SCVs under 74. The Vikings looking like they're going to try again. 
and some forces coming to shoo them away. A uh, brief pause, it appears. And weapon refit being researched. I actually don't know what that is. That is probably with something from the engineering bay. No, I actually have no idea what, what, what weapon refit is. He's also getting battle cruisers, so uh, Style Life is going to be finishing off his opponent with battle cruisers and uh, ghosts with nukes. Ghosts, marauders, and battle cruisers. A good combination there. Mine out of his main finally, so now he's operating on only three bases, but one is a gold. Still lots of mules kicking away. 5,000 minerals, a few too many perhaps. Uh, this is Jimmy. Looks like he's not. Oh, there, there is a ghost now inside his base, and he is uh, content to fire away in cloak. So uh, still just toying with his opponent. Isn't nuking. So he's probably just going to drain out his opponent's uh, drain out his opponent's energy so that a second ghost can come in and be successful. Not even being microed. It's just shooting tanks. Here's that fusion core. I guess weapons refit was. Uh, Probably Yamoto gun or something. Someone can let me know what weapons refit is. It's like not much else going on. It's just battle cruisers. Laying down even more star ports to get more battle cruisers. And some movement finally. Some marauders moving in. Three ghosts. I'm gonna try and see if they can't uh, get scanned and annihilated in a barrage of siege tanks. So those three ghosts are complete waste. Picking up another expansion, stealing his opponent's gold expansion. So this is Jimmy even uh, further tucked away and unable to do anything. He does have one Viking, and I guess he could technically land here and kill that SCV, but looks like he's not going to do that. Up to five battle cruisers now, almost at a supply cap. I reckon that will be when uh, Staley finally presses out. Here's hoping anyways. Yes, here they go. Looks like it is six battle cruisers, uh, no upgrades at all. They do have your modal gun, but not enough energy to do it. And, oh, and uh, this is Jimmy now pressing out, going to catch these marauders and completely annihilate them. That is a lot of siege tanks that he has amassed. Unfortunately, a uh, few too few marines to deal with this many battle cruisers. So uh, a cinematic conclusion to this match. Uh, down go all those marines. Marines doing... I can't even select them fast enough. Uh, five damage with an armor of three, so two damage apiece. And uh, these siege tanks are going to retreat, unable to fire on these battle cruisers in the sky. We got one marine and one missile turret to defend. So these uh, battle cruisers will slowly roll over. This is Jimmy's remaining forces. Uh, more battle cruisers on the way. Looks like no more ghosts. Won't be getting nukes after all. Here's some Vikings. Maybe he'll micro those well enough to do some damage. But uh, I don't think these two Vikings could actually kill all these battle cruisers before the battle cruisers kill everything left in his base. And uh, they are able to catch the Vikings ever so briefly. A little bit of battle cruiser micro there. It's a nice micro from Mrs. Jemmy. He clearly does know what he's doing. Unfortunately, uh, just fell too far behind there. So he's going to probably get one or two of these uh, battle cruisers. Nice Emoto guns there. Take out two Vikings. And the first battle cruiser is down. Some reinforcements are floating in. And uh, looks like these are just going to clean up as many of the turrets as possible. They're going to shut down that Viking production pretty fast, taking out that. Uh, Shipyard. Now only five battle cruisers with four in reserve. And I think this is the uh, one of the final remaining two. This is Jimmy holding on for dear life. Uh, I would have GG'd a long time ago, but what the heck? It's his tournament. He gets to play it however he wishes. And this final command center going to go down. No way these command centers are these uh, battle cruisers going to die from Viking uh, fire. Every SCV left. Now trying to repair it as quickly as they can. Only three battle cruisers remaining. Uh, Going to chase off these Vikings. The Vikings do a very, very nice job harassing with their long range. And uh, here comes the final remaining forces of Style Life. A reinforcing six battle cruisers and a pile of marauders. Finally going to engage those siege tanks. And uh, the marauders might actually lose this. Looking like not. They do have stim. And they do have one upgrade over the siege tanks. So the marauders will barely clean up before these. Battle Cruisers arrive, and finally there is the GG. So, Style Life does take the series 2-0. This is Jimmy is eliminated, so he's going to be playing golf for the rest of the summer. And Style Life will be moving on to the round of 32, where hopefully his opponent will be good enough that he cannot toy with him as he did in this game. 
So uh, keep tuning in on uh, on IC Cup TV and do check out those sponsors and thank them for their support and continue to follow this tournament on TeamLiquid.net. So until next time, have a good one.